Okay, situation report. We are done. Uh, we've uh, done the roadworks on the M25 and we've gone back to the yard and dropped off the kit. It is now uh, 10 past four, just gone in the morning. Um, so my shift is nearly finished, if I want it to be, or I can carry on driving to my next destination. Now, trouble is, because uh, of the road closures on the M25, um, it's going to take me a long time to get to Reading. Reading is where I've got to get to next. So I've got two options. I can either go straight to Reading now, but take a long way around, which means I'm going to finish later, which means then I start later tomorrow. Uh, if I go there now, I'd be, I'd be looking at finishing about 6, um, 6 a.m which means I won't be able to start until 3 a.m. and then I'll still be an hour away or so from where I've got to go. So that'll be like 4 p.m. before I even get there. Um, or I can uh, rest now. Hang on, have I done that right? <laughs> Don't know if I've done that right. Yeah, it's an hour and a half to get there. So if I if I got there now, it'd be, yeah, it'd be 6, 6 a.m. by the time I get there, if I went there now, and then, I, and then it takes... Um, nine hours to rest so it will be 3 p.m before i can start 3 p.m or i can park up now which would be probably about half past four and then i can start at five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve half past one and then it takes about an hour to get there so it's about two o'clock so we're about no about half past two so it will only be saving half an hour so it don't really matter to be honest <laughs> doesn't really matter at all but yeah, no, because because of the road closure, um, I think I am going to try and find somewhere to park and lay by, park up for the night slash day, and uh, resume in the morning. So yeah, just going to find a lay by along one of these lanes here, and then uh, I'll see you when uh, when we park up. Right, <clears throat> we're done. Card was out at 14.26, just taken out, set a timer for nine hours, and then uh, we'll be back on the road again. Nine hours time, we've got, like I said, I've got to go to Reading. Um, but right now, because the M25 is shut, um, load of roadworks on the M4 and stuff like that, it's telling me to basically, all my, bear, bear in mind I'm near Watford, it's telling me to go in towards London, um, towards Ealing <laughs> to come back out again um, to get onto the M4 to skip the M25 but it's, that's just adding so many more miles on so I'm going to stop now have a nine hour rest go to sleep and uh, I'll see you in the morning it'll be light out as well yeah see you in the morning hello everybody welcome back it's the next day it is half past one card is in we're uh, just doing our daily check, making sure everything's all right with the truck, making sure all the lights are all right. Uh, making sure everything's all good to go. It's quite cold. You see my own breath. <laughs> um, yeah, there's been a change of plan, as always. Uh, we are still going to Reading, but we're going to a different place in Reading, picking up just one paver. And then that's going to a place called Graves End, which is near Dartford. That's all I know. I don't know what's happening tomorrow. So, a little bit annoying actually because it was all planned out and I was going to be back Friday. And uh, as it stands, that could change. So, a little bit annoying, I know, but uh, never mind. Anyway, I'm going to continue doing my daily checks and uh, then we can get off on the road. See you in a bit. Right, we're on the move. Uh, we just left the lay by that we were parked in. I think we need to spin around and come back on ourselves. Um, so, yeah, we've got to go to head. Uh, heading we've got to go to reading now uh pick up uh just a paver from a site um on portman road i think it's a bellway site i think there's a lot of traffic no, i think we're good i think we're good then i gotta take it somewhere near dartford um not really sure where it's going exactly um and then i don't know what i'm doing tomorrow either so <laughs> um it's really annoying because as of last night, I knew exactly what I was doing for the rest of the week. And um, it, I woke up this morning to find a message from the, the, the bloke we're doing the work for saying, give him a call um, when I'm up. <laughs> and he said, nah, it's all changed, mate. And I was like, oh, nice. <laughs> right, we need to get over because we need to spin around on this next one. So yeah, just take it as it is, isn't it? I mean, at least it's only one paver I'm picking up. It's a lot quicker than putting a paver and two rollers on. So, um, 
fingers crossed we can get that loaded nice and quick. Uh, like I said, the end problem is I don't know exactly where I'm picking it up from. That's the only thing with this low loader work. It's very vague. Like, you're told, because you're not given a company name. I mean, you can't go and Google the company name and find out exactly where they are. You're just given a street and then you've got to find the machines on that street. And that could be anywhere, in any place, any building, anywhere. It's just a, a bit annoying, if I'm honest. So, yeah, you, you get to site sometimes and you make a phone call. It's like, well, where is it? Because you just, you know, I don't know. And it's the same with dropping it off. Like, you're just told a street to drop it off at and then, you know, you just got to hope you drop it off at the right place. I always take a photograph to prove that I've dropped it off. But, uh, never mind. Is what it is, isn't it? These laybys, like they're not that big, and I was being rocked around all last night, which uh, wasn't ideal. So do you feel for the trucks that are parked up on them? Definitely do feel for them. All right, we got a hearse in front of us. I think we should probably overtake that hearse. Uh, yeah, the layby that we stayed in uh, for last night or slash this morning is the lay-by just up here on the right hand side um, and like I said I was being rocked to sleep so not too bad but when you've been up working and you're just exhausted you kind of after a while you just forget about it and go straight to sleep look at that someone's in my space already jump in my grave mate jump in my grave <laughs> there we go that lay-by there on the right where that van is that was where I was parked um, Oh, someone said they, I read my messages this morning, someone said they saw me on the way to work, Chris, I think you said your name was, so uh, shout out to Chris. But yeah, anyway, let's crack on to Reading, it's going to take us about an hour and 20 minutes to get there. ETA in Reading is just after 3 o'clock, uh, hopefully we can find the paver, get it put on by half past 3, that'd be nice, and uh, make our way towards Dartford for 5 o'clock because I don't really want to be on the M25 after five, so. Ugh. Let's get a move on. See you in a bit. Okay, we just had to endure a little bit of traffic going through Reading City Centre. Um, this was like a really long stretch of road, but there's like zebra crossings and traffic lights and yeah, all sorts. And, it's taken a while to get through, to be honest with you. The last sort of mile has taken 10 minutes. So, uh, go on there, mate, you go on. <laughs> right, anyway, this is the road we want, I think. Well, no, it's a little bit further on down here. But, uh, yeah, we're looking out for a paver. But I suspect I'm gonna have to pull up outside the site, because there's, there's a Bowway Homes. Pretty sure I'm gonna have to pull up outside and put beacons on and just uh, go on in and have a look. Because I don't want to be driving in for no reason. And uh, well, we're on Portman Road now, so it could be anywhere. All I've been told is Portman Road. I haven't been told is actually at the Bowway Homes. So it literally could be anywhere. There's dirt marks on the road there, so it could be down there. No, can't see a paver. Yeah, it's just all about keeping uh, keeping an eye out and have a look. Like I said earlier, this is what frustrates me about this. You just told a street address, that's it. Enough, you're not you're not told anything else, so a little bit annoying. But uh, I'm going to assume it's going to be in the site because that would make most sense. But I'll have a look elsewhere anyway. Is that a roundabout? No, it's not. It looked like a roundabout then for about there. Doo -doo -doo. No, it's not up there. Right, here's the site. There's a superstore here. Can't imagine it's going to be in the superstore. But I can imagine it'd be in that site somewhere. That was orange. And I'm going to cause nightmare queuing up outside. I'm just trying to peek here over and have a look. Yeah, I'm going to put my beacons on anyway, just to let people know. OK, 
okay, yeah. <laughs> There's no way I'm getting in there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make a phone call. Right, we found it. It was round the other side of the site. Uh, which is just round here on the left, but it's a bit tight round there. So I'm gonna reverse round where, well, I'm gonna turn round from where I am now. Yeah, he's bringing it out. I'm gonna come round this roundabout, he's gonna drive it on out to me. And I'm just, just gonna park up on the, uh, on the twin roads here. Hazards on. Yeah, the cars are too silly behind me to realise my hazards are on. Never mind. Right, let's go. Okay, we're done. We're loaded. It's taking a bit longer than I expected. There's a Tesco right behind me, so I'm going to go get some uh, food and drink in a sec. But uh, here we go. Paper is on. Same as always. Uh, four chains either side, or like each corner rather. Uh, we're taking that to Dartford. Keep getting people come over in this lane and then waiting behind me. I've clearly got hazards on. They can clearly get around me. But uh, yeah, gonna quickly pop to the Tesco, get some uh, food and drink, because I'm out tonight. And uh, we're getting a move on. Got a sweat on. Oh, I've got these uh, earphones. They're from August, you have to excuse my dirty hands, but these are from August. Remember I did a, a review not too long ago about a uh, um, TV, August TV, uh, which is fantastic. They also reached out and they sent me these earbuds. Uh, they're wireless, make phone calls hands-free. Uh, yeah, very, hand, very handy. Uh, I can talk to people while operating machinery without actually having wires in the way and stuff like that. So really good and actually only cost 30 pound i'll leave a link in the description they're great quality right let's get some food right we're back in the truck oh give myself a, a wedgie oh <laughs> uh just trying to get myself sorted destination of where we're going next i am just going to go back ever so slightly because uh i can't go straight forward without running over the curb. So when I go forward in a second, I'm gonna to have to swing out to the right a little bit. But I just gotta put the destination in to sat now. I've also gotta try and clean my hands a little bit because they're dirty. Yeah, those earbuds I just spoke to you about. Put that on, you can see me. Uh, August, the company, they, uh, they sent me an email saying, would I like to test them out? And, uh, I'll be honest, normally when you get stuff sent to you from companies, because I do, I get loads of stuff sent to me, normally they're rubbish. Rubbish stuff. Not worth it. Uh, but, um, these earphones are like 30 quid. They're like really cheap, but good at the same time. And they are good quality. They, they sound really bassy. I love it. Right. Uh, all I've been given is a street rather than a postcode. So I'm trying to find a postcode. DA11 7JA BA. Right, we're good to go. Beacon's off. The neighbours are going to love me because where I'm delivering to. Where I'm delivering to is a residential street, or it looks like a residential street, and uh, I'm going to be there at 20 to 7 tonight. <laughs> so uh, they're going to love me. Oh man, it's a long, long, long way from where I. I yeah, I did not think it was going to be that long away. Jesus, it's a two and a half hour drive there. Never mind. Uh, listen to some tunes, I suppose, on the way, wasn't I? <laughs> Ah, yeah, no, it took a lot longer than expected to uh, to get that done. I was hoping to be in and out. I got there at three o'clock, it's quarter past four now, so it's, it's taken me over an hour to put one paver on. Uh, but it's just just what it is, isn't it? Never mind. Right, let's go. Let's get a foot down, 
let's get this delivered and then uh, see what's happening from there. See you in a bit. Okay, situation report. We, <laughs> we left Reading at quarter past four. Um, at quarter past five, we were still in Reading. <laughs> it's now just after quarter past six and we're just about to get onto the M25. <laughs> not even halfway there yet. It's taken us over two hours to get not even halfway. It's really bad. Traffic, for some reason, tonight is just mental. I know it was rush hour traffic after five, but uh, since four o'clock it's been rammed and it's, like I said, it's 25 past six at the minute. Uh, 25 minutes past six at the moment and traffic's just rammed. It's just ridiculous, redonkulous, you could say. Never mind, I've uh, got an idea what's going on now. I thought I was going to be on night out tonight, which I kind of technically am, I'm working throughout the night, but um, I will be actually heading back to the yard at the end of today's shift. Got to go and drop this off at, um, near Dartford, I can't remember the exact place. But then I got to go to some place in Epson, pick up a roller and a paver, and then take that back to my yard, uh, get some fuel on the way back as well. So I'll be parked up, I don't know at the moment, it's just a complete guess, but uh, maybe one, two o'clock in the morning, I'll be parked up. Um, and then I don't start working then until Friday um, afternoon, at about 5 p.m., something like that. So I'm gonna have well over 12 hours off. Um, start in the afternoon on Friday, go back to Hattersfield to get the paver to then go back onto the M25 and do another night shift um, on the M25. So which is not too bad because straight from there I'd be dropping it back off and then coming back home again early hours Saturday morning. Maybe six, seven o'clock Saturday morning I suppose. Uh, so yeah, lovely jubbly. I'm gonna crack on, try to crack on anyway. We're still 52 miles away which is over an hour away still. And uh, as you can see, we're still in traffic, so yeah, <laughs> it's all fun and games, isn't it? <laughs> right, uh, hopefully see you when we're there. Okay, situation report, that paver is now off. I uh, managed to get that delivered. Sorry you didn't see it, um, I was, it was quite a busy road and I just wanted to get it off ASAP. I uh, didn't have time to mess around with GoPros and stuff, so I just took it off quickly as I could, uh, put it in a nice safe place in the sales centre, it was on a site, the site itself was closed but the, uh, the car park for the sales office was at, like open, so I put it in there. Um, and yeah, so now we're on our way to another place to pick up a roller and a paver to take back to the yard. Time currently is half past eight at night, so I'm not actually doing too bad. I thought we were gonna be working well into the morning. Uh, but if all goes to plan, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have paver and roller on by just after 10 o'clock, and then it gives me two hours to get fuel and get in the yard before midnight. I reckon I'll be back by midnight. So, but we'll see, we'll see. It might, be, it might be just after. But it certainly isn't gonna be like a one, two o'clock a.m. finish like I thought it was gonna be, so that's good. Today's been a good day. Um, but yeah, no, we need to go and uh, get this roller and paver now. Uh, it looks like it could be another dodgy, like, pickup. <laughs> um, it looks to me like it's almost a single track lane goes into like a house and estate which looks way too tight for an Arctic and then it sort of bears off left um, into like a, a single track lane which is for buses only uh, but it, there is a, a like a bus way through but that's where the pickup is so I'm gonna have to put beacons on and hope no buses come uh, and if they do then I'm just gonna have to drive out and come back in again and redo it um, but yeah we'll see we'll have to see on that one anyway foot down let's get crack a lacking let's go get this next uh, this next load, and then we can go home. See you in a bit. Okay, we're uh, just around the corner now from the next destination. Um, I know you can't really see much out the front. Because I record the GoPros on 60 FPS, um, less light gets in per frame, so it looks darker than it actually is on the camera. I mean, it is dark, <laughs> it's night outside, but um, even like the headlights, um, you can't see that light as, as well. Right, yeah, so we just found the corner where we need to be. I am going to be stopping slightly short of the road we need to be on, purely because I'm going to stop in between two different two roundabouts, and I can turn around then if I need to. But um, I'm pretty sure I will need to go down there. 
but uh, I just want to go and walk it first and just make sure I am in the right place. Because again, I know I've said it already, but you've just given a street, you're not given an address. But uh, I have actually been given an address this time at some um, cemetery, I think. So uh, yeah, that'll be interesting. <laughs> but there's also a house in the state very close by, so I want to make sure that it's not been parked down the house in the state, because I ain't going down there. That looks well too tight, so. I'll uh, I'll have a gander first. Bad thing is it's it's raining, so uh, I I may well get a little bit wet. There's a car behind me with uh, looks like either a security or like a works van, so it might even be for me. Don't know. We will see. But yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting this one. It's a mini paver, I believe, as well, so it's not a big one, which is nice. But I might end up having to drive it on the road. We'll. Uh, We'll see. I'll take you with me when we go and have a look. I need to take a photograph of it as well and send it um, to the guy we're doing the work for. Because apparently there might be more than one roller there, and I'm only taking one. So he wants me to take a photograph to sh so he can see which two are there and tell me which one to take. Right, so I'm going to park in between this roundabout and the next one on the right. And then take a walk up. Oh wow, there's not a lot of space. I have to do because I ain't going any further unless I know I'm in the right place. So I am stopping here. Hazards on, beacons on, well lit up, and I need to go down on the left. But I'm gonna go and have a wander first. So let's go. Let's get our coat on, get our uh, our light on so we can see. See you in a bit. Right. Oh, you're joking. Just been for a walk. I'm, I'm going to have to go up and spin round and face up this way but it, it is going to involve uh, a little bit of walking getting the machines and I was just about to say that this road is really quiet until I saw that car come down here but I'm going to park here but facing the other way um, and then I've got to walk to get the machines now I know that noise is annoying but I'm going to be reversing in a second um, so that's why my seatbelt is off I'm about to do a manoeuvre <sighs> Thank you. But I'm going to reverse around this bend and go back out the other way. Aim to anyway. Hopefully, before any cars come. I need to mind the lampposts. One on the left. That's it, missed it. I need a proper jackknife it. Oh, it's tighter than I thought it was going to be. Do a couple of tweaks here. Lovely jubbly. And we're going to park up here. Alright, that should be okay. Just need to double check. Don't know what that car's doing. Whew. Right. Go get the machines. Okay, we're loaded. Uh, 
involved a little bit of walking <laughs> and uh, a little bit of noise in a residential area. Hopefully I haven't caused too much trouble. It's uh, just gone 10 o'clock at night. So I do, I do genuinely feel bad for residents who have to put up with people like me turning up and loading lorries with loud machines and stuff. But uh, yeah, so here's the lorry. Oh, there's the lorry. This is what we got on. So we've got a paper there. I don't think you can really see it, can you, to be fair? Got a paper there and uh, a roller on the back as well. <clears throat> Both yellow. And uh, yeah, we're done. We just need to head back to the yard now. We need to get a break in on the way back. Um, but other than that, we're done. It's been a relatively busy day today. I've done the a few bits of bobs chaining up and stuff but uh, yeah there we go there's the truck and we're uh, we're gonna head home so thank you very much for watching do appreciate it thank you very very much it does mean a lot and uh until next time drive safe and i'll see you soon bye bye